Maestro Shalev Adel, welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you, Ilaf. It's a pleasure to be here with you in the opening of uh, the season of uh, uh, Natania Hakimutsim Chamber Orchestra. Did I get that right? Yes, almost. I mean, not, not most of the orchestra members don't really get it right. We were, we were, I consider myself part of it already, as I'm already 28 years in the system because I grew up in this orchestra. And and this orchestra is a really major part, plays a major part in my entire career and the decision to, to be a professional musician. But it used to be the Kibbutz, Kibbutz Chamber Orchestra. And then uh, when the Kibbutz started privatizing, then we needed some more funds because the Kibbutz couldn't hold us on its back anymore. Then we added the city of Netanya. So now we have Netanya, Kibbutz Chamber Orchestra. Uh, there were months and months of discussions of how to form the, the name wide. When we travel abroad, we call ourselves NKO, and that's also our homepage, nko.co.il. NKO, great. So our guests, our, uh, our viewers can uh, visit the uh, site, but in the meantime, uh, you just started this season, which is actually the beginning of your next chapter with this orchestra, because you are now not only uh, a soloist like you were before in it, but today you are both the conductor and also the director, the artistic mm -hmm. director. Indeed. And this was an exceptional, exceptional half concert that we heard till now. Tell us uh, about the decisions to leading to a flutist playing a violin concerto. Actually, one of the things this season I, I was nominated really late, like things usually are in life, and uh, so I didn't have a lot of time to form a season as close to my heart. Next season will already look much more like it. And one of the things I I really love doing is uh, like like the flutist said it. Most of 90% he said of the music is written for the wrong instruments. Tchaikovsky wrote in his love letters to to one of his uh, girls saying, "Oh, today was the, the the premiere of my trio, and I knew I should have written it for the orchestra. It was a piano trio. It has one of the most beautiful melodies ever, and it's written for a piano trio. Schubert has amazing four hands music, which you think four hands? I mean, hello, two pianists." Why is it not an orchestra or something? You know, you you wanna you wanna give a new life to a piece. So this is one of the things I really want to in my short time as as, a, as a music director of the orchestra. I really want to pursue as much of this. So this is the beginning of it. Next year, same guy uh, is going to play Beethoven violin concerto. Wow. Um, and as he said, as a joke, maybe next then Brahms and Tchaikovsky. And uh, that's. On the flute chapter, uh, we, we open the next season as well with a piece which will be touring this uh, year uh, with the orchestra, which is an adaptation of the cycle Dacial. It's the 12th year seasons, uh, written by Fanny Mendelssohn. Uh, Mendelssohn's sister, she was a Jewish by kind of birth because uh, she comes from, she's the granddaughter of Moshe Mendelssohn, the great uh, Jewish uh, uh, philosopher. And uh, so I consider her, you know, Jew, that the, the, the father decided to change his religion makes no impression on me whatsoever. And she had a great talent as, as much as uh, her brother, and, uh, and we take her monumental piece, written for the piano, and adapt it for the orchestra. So we're making it actually a 15 minutes major piece by Van Mendelssohn for the orchestra. So this, this is going to be the two new pieces next year and, and if I will survive, if our public survives, there will be much more of that. Great, and is there a, a, something about this season more that you would like to uh, tell about? Yes, this season I, I really tried to, the orchestra was 11 years under the great Jaron Gottfried and uh, he conducted a lot of concerts every year. I tr I, so they were under a regime, you know, and usually in Perestroika, orchestras like to, you know, also like, like after marriage, when you get divorced, you don't get married immediately, you kind of go to bars, going out, getting to know people. You had a blonde woman, you like, we want to have an ebony date. So that's what's going to happen with dogs. I, I really make, I make them meet some of the greatest Israeli and non-Israeli conductors I know uh, to have much more experience to really improve much better people who will work with them in different ways and really get them, make them happy and make our public also happy and, and, and enjoy very many different kinds of music, interpretations, different soloists. Uh, we have a bit more light Georgian music together with, uh, with Brazilian music this year and we have of course the repertoire of Mendelssohn, 
from his orchestra was going more and more towards the ethnic. Uh, actually, it started this trend in Israel of you know yeah, the Philharmonic has a Philharmonic in jeans. Many many orchestras now following your one's idea, starting to try and and you know re-attract the audience. And I want to do exactly the opposite. I I feel like during this process, many many people actually who love Brahms, Beethoven, Bach. They, look, they don't have it anymore because everybody is trying to, oh, maybe they will like this, maybe they will like this, uh, rather than my this normal, great home cooking of, uh, of the, we That's grow up, you know, I want my the filthy fish, I want my chicken soup, you know, my uh, chopped liver, and people like, oh, you know, you have... Uh, Back to basics. Pan uh, cannelloni uh, with a bit of touch of uh, mushroom <laughs> and a touch of rosemary. <laughs> Well, it sounds fabulous, really sounds so exciting, uh, this season and uh, the future for NKO. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you very much for... One more thing I would have yes. to add, I'm sorry, please, they give me the please. opportunity, they, I regret it always. <laughs> but uh, this orchestra has, has, be, has been elected as best chamber orchestra of Israel by the Council of Arts, and Minhal Talbot, we call it. And one of the reasons they gave it this is not only because of the excellence of the performance, but also because we take this excellence throughout the entire country. We are the only orchestra in Israel that travels. We play with him nine concerts from the Rot, which is the Rot uh, border, uh, to Naharia, which is Lebanese border throughout Kibbutzim and, and, and peripheral cities, as well as playing for 20,000 kids. Every year we go, the orchestra goes in the mornings to classes in, in four peripheral uh, cities, Netanya, Rosh Hashan, Batyam, and Petah Tikva. School by school, they go into the class and explain about the music, explain about the culture of listening, of, of, of joining together, doing things together. Uh, many of these kids end up picking an instrument and playing. And, um, and in the end of the year, all these, all these children, they gather together in the halls and, and perform, uh, and we perform for them uh, as a whole. Um, this, so we are like orchestra that takes the periphery, the, the education really, really seriously. We play in parks uh, of, of Natania for 6,000, 7,000 people. So uh, we really do a lot of things to really make classical music and, and use our role as classical musician, not only like I'm the best, but, but I want to you know, make my society a better, my yeah. city a better place to live in. Wow. So I'm so very, I... very, very, very privileged and honored to be part of this system, of this uh, uh, this thing rather than uh, only perform. That's, I, I don't know what to say about this. But adding values and uh, education to uh, the excitement and uh, bubbling uh, uh, new old, it's breathtaking. Thank you very much it's Shalit, for Thank giving you so us much. your time. And uh, good luck with the season. We will be uh, supporting it fully and supporting it and waiting for the second half, which will be a great beginning of the support. Without doubt. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much.